好的，现场的开幕活动呢，马上就要展开了。那我们要麻烦呢，两支球队的球员停止赛前练习，谢谢。街口工程师 Christmas 的主题周，今天呢第二场呢精彩的比赛呢马上就要展开了。可以看到呢，目前呢场中央呢是呢一群呢来自呢司马库斯的小朋友。那在之前呢，我们也曾经呢带着呢，包括田浩、高国豪以及我们县长，我们呢新竹县政府，我们开了三个半小时的车到司马库斯呢教他们打篮球。当时呢这些小朋友的愿望就是希望呢能够呢在现场呢看到呢。新竹职业篮球队的一个比赛，所以今天他们部落的族人以及家长，从今天一大早也开了将近呢三个半小时的车，来到了我们比赛的会场。等一下呢，在赛后，他们要开着将近三个半个小时的车，回到了他们的库司马库斯。在开赛之前，我们是不是呢？先请呢现场的所有的观众朋友，给予他们最热情的掌声，欢迎他们为我们带来精彩的开场表演。
。谢谢，谢谢呢。我们星光国小呢，司马库斯的实验分班为我们带来呢精彩的演出。待会呢，他们呢，包括呢，为我们表演的歌曲，也是呢，泰雅族的一个丰收歌曲《相聚歌》。也很开心呢，今天呢能够来到现场，跟大家聚在一起，为呢新竹街口工程师加油。谢谢，再次呢，谢谢呢，我们星光国小呢，我们司马库斯实验分班的小朋友，今天呢特别呢来到我们活动现场，也让了我们所有人呢可以呢相聚在一起。真的呢，要这么多人相聚在一起呢，在呢我们新竹接口工程师，真的一个相当不简单的事情。所以在这边呢，要为大家介绍呢，在背后呢努力的一群好朋友们。首先呢，为大家介绍呢，是我们新新竹县政府的杨文科杨县长。接着呢，为大家介绍的是我们宣杰集团的创办人，欢迎呢我们宣明志宣爸，以及呢我们全城股份有限公司的总裁，欢迎林志强林总裁，以及呢我们 Plus League 联盟执行长，欢迎呢陈建州执行长。接着呢，我们细品精密的董事长，欢迎呢是我们蔡启文蔡董事长。江南银行的策略长，欢迎吴建仪策略长。大院建筑的谢伟文副总经理，今天呢也带着呢我们新竹县琼林国小篮球队一起呢来为工程师加油，欢迎。除此之外呢，也要为大家介绍的是我们九泰科技的董事长，欢迎沈惠成董事长。那今天呢来到活动现场，包括呢我们全展贸易的王胜利董事长，以及呢我们 YouTube 的创办人，共同创办人，包括陈世俊、林世斌。以及葛莱美奖的设计师肖清扬设计师，凯旋呢电子商务的公司执行长，欢迎呢是我们张宗颖，以及杰力餐饮的杨哲伟执行长，四零电机的许佳瑶许副总，在这边呢特别呢感谢呢的与会的贵宾。那在活动开始之前，是不是呢再一次呢请了我们县长来到活动现场？大家好，昨天晚上我们在这里看到我们的工程师队旗开得胜，这个两队打得非常的精彩刺激。那今天晚上我们的工程师队要再接再厉，跟我们台北富邦勇士队来比赛。那我想我们。还是一样的，用我们的掌声来预祝我们的新竹接口工程师队再下一层，好不好？好，谢谢大家，谢谢大家，谢谢，谢谢呢。我们县长呢特别的莅临我们活动现场，待会呢马上呢最美丽的团体呢就要来到我们活动现场了，我们用最热情的掌声欢迎呢我们新竹接口工程师牧师女孩。
以热情的掌声，谢谢牧师女孩为我们带来精彩的表演。马上呢，要为大家介绍呢，在今天的本场比赛呢，最重要的主角。首先呢，要为大家介绍呢，今天来访的客队——台北富邦勇士篮球队。首先呢，为大家依序呢，为大家介绍富邦勇士篮球队的成员，球衣背号零号的赖廷恩，球衣背号一号的林书伟，球衣背号二号简伟如，球衣背号三号曾忠宪，八号周桂宇，球衣背号九号郭少杰。球衣背号十二号林志杰，球衣背号十三号林梦璇，球衣背号十四号蔡文成，二十一号曾祥军，球衣背号三十二号赛瑟夫，球衣背号三十六号贾西亚，台北富邦勇士篮球队总教练许敬泽，教练吴永仁、魏维。马上呢，要呢，要为大家介绍呢，我们今天的组长，新竹接口工程师篮球队。嗯、那也请看一下呢，我们的形象影片。来跟我疯，也谢谢呢这两位棋手。那这位女同学呢，一样的是我们明星科大的那位同学。那那位男同学呢，是昨天呢，我们说可以开放现场报名，他真的非常积极来报名，谢谢。接着呢，要为大家介绍新竹街口工程师。介绍呢，是我们球衣背号一号前锋肖顺义。接着呢，为大家介绍呢，是我们球衣背号六号后卫，我不是软哥，陈坚恩。接着呢，为各位介绍球衣编号七号，当家射手欢迎林立人。接着呢，为各位介绍射门球衣编号十一号前锋潘冠汉。
登场了，是我们球衣背号十四号，欢迎天后。紧接着呢，要为大家介绍的这位选手，光是名字就可以接代言。欢迎球衣背号五十二号，澳门中锋龙毅生，让你龙毅生。接着呢，为大家介绍的是我们球衣背号五十四号，阿布吴代豪。接着呢，要为各位介绍呢，我们先发五人 ，Starting Five。首先登场的是我们球衣背号十二号，永不放弃的，欢迎李佳瑞。接着呢，为各位介绍 Number Twenty Three， 球衣背号二十三号，罗东特，很痛。Number Thirty， 球衣背号三十一号。朱元帅，接着登场了，欢迎呢是我们球衣背号四号，攻守俱佳的双人位，我是哥高国豪。最后呢，为各位介绍球衣背号二十一号，我们新主人的骄傲，欢迎陈立焕。新竹接口工程师总教练林冠伦，助理教练沈新汉。那我们技术顾问陈志忠，以及我们总经理高景言，今天我们领队呢徐玉仁以及首席副领队叶宗颖都来到活动现场。同样呢，赛前呢，我们是不是呢，请两队在场中央进行一个合影？那我们也邀请了我们县长，那在这场比赛呢，跟我们两队呢进行一个赛前的一个合影。好，那我们林维洲立委今天也特别来到活动现场，欢迎。来，各位小朋友看中间哦，来。好，那小朋友，现在新主人拍照不比耶喽。现在新主人要说吼，好不好？来做一个嘶吼的动作，看中间那个姐姐，来工程师。好，谢谢，也谢谢我们富邦勇士的球员，谢谢县长，还有我们林维洲立委。那那个工程师的球员稍后一下。那这一次呢，圣诞大战当中呢，我们这些呢司马库斯的小朋友，他们每个人呢都有做一张卡片，要送给球员。来，我们把卡片送给这些哥哥们。
。好，那我们球员也拿着卡片，我们在前面呢做一个合影，好吗？来看这边。那这些呢？星光国小呢？是马库斯分校的同学，也很感谢呢。我们工程师愿意呢，花了三个半个小时的时间到山上呢，跟他们一起打篮球，所以特别呢制作了这个圣诞卡片。来，我们在一起哦！来，工程师。Oh, 好，谢谢。接下来呢，把时间呢交给呢我们两队的球员呢，进行赛前的热身。Ladies and gentlemen, seniors and youth, welcome to the Sunday, December 27th broadcast of the Plus League basketball season. Game four of 48 in the regular seasons. We're here in Xingzhu County Stadium in Xingzhu, Taiwan. The action is heating up here in the inaugural season, and we have a lot of exciting, entertaining, and all-around fun here in the basketball season in Taiwan. They are the matchup card, the Taipei Fubon Braves on the left, and the home Xingzhu Jieko Lioneers on the right. I'm Ryan Chen, your play-by-play -play, along with coach Benjamin David Metcalf. Coach Ben, just early going, but seen a lot of exciting basketball to now. That's right, we've seen, uh, this is our second weekend of action here with the Plus League, and we're actually treated today, as we see there on the screen, as a matchup with the only two undefeated teams left in the league. So, we'll be seeing, exciting to see who ends up with the undefeated record at the end of the day. On the second night of the opening weekend for the Shinzu Jeko Lioneers here in Shinzu County Stadium, the expansion franchise is showing off their sports acumen. There on your screen are the Mandarin broadcasters. On the left, that's David, David Chin, and on the right is Coach Jaffan. Coach Jeff doing a great job over there, their second night of work. As I was saying, they are after all run by the Han Chuang Sports Marketing and Events Group that has put on NBA and MLB preseason games here in Taiwan in the past. Along with the league, the Lioneers were just conceptualized in 2020 and they have put it all together at a rapid pace. Coach Ben, you've been part of a more traditional, long-standing basketball operation, so it's hard to imagine something coming together so quickly. It's really impressive to see the work they've put together just in these past few months, not just on the court, but off the court too, with the general manager, Kenny Gao, getting everything started from nothing to see yesterday they were fortunate enough to get their first win. It's exciting times here in Taiwan. The crowd filing in for the 8,000 seat capacity Shizu County Stadium on the screen. Calvin Chen Li Huan, the top scorer for the Lioneers. He had 24 points last night, shooting very effectively, very efficiently. Joining his teammates in the pre-game layup line, there's Tian Hao on the screen, knocking down a key three-pointer late in the game to give the Lioneers the reasonably more comfortable lead at the time. That's right, it was nice seeing yesterday. We got the local boy, Calvin Tan, with a great performance. A couple of the Lioneers youngsters playing very well. So it's, I'm sure, something that their head coach, as we see right there, Greg Lin, something that he's happy to see in their first game. On the right in the vest is manager, Kenny Gall, formerly more of a TV analyst than internet video analyst of all things basketball here in Taiwan, but taking on this new role the first for him as well. The visiting Braves, as we said, are 1-0 from their opening game victory over the Dreamers. That was last week in Zhanghua. 
Coming from behind in the fourth quarter as Jets, Zhang Zhongxian's 34 points gave way to two critical threes from Beast Lin Zijie to put them ahead for the final score of 89 to 86. The analysts have considered the Braves the most complete team in the run-up to the season, but they're not quite at full strength. Today we'll see finally Joseph Lin, Ling Su Wei. His first start, his first playing time in the plus league. That's right, like you just said, we saw the Braves coach, Coach Roger there. He's got such a complete lineup. He's able to kind of mix up the lineups with every game, mixing up their locals. Today we'll get a look at their other import, Charles Garcia, seeing his first action of the season. Uh, so it'll be exciting to see how he manages all these matchups. Last night, the Lioneers took a large 16-point lead in the game in the first half, but the Pilots came back in that game. A tightly fraught contest where that three was followed up by a little bit of a mismanagement of some of the post-game theatrics. In the end, the Lioneers were able to pull it out. So, Coach Ben, part of being in a professional league of any sport is dealing with some of the extended pregame ceremonies, certainly in the early part of the season. But the good thing is both teams have to deal with it. That's right, and, and as we've seen from the first weekend where the start of the games were a little bit rough, hopefully going forward, the teams will get used to it and start out a little bit better. For the Braves, they will start Zhang Longxian from left to right, and then Ling Suwei in second, Charles Garcia in the middle, and Ling Zijie, the beast, we mentioned, and at center, Igor Zaisev. As for the Lioneers, from left to right will be Julian Wright, Oscar Galkogohal, Dante Henton, Hunto, Calvin mentioned before, Tim Lee Hunt, and Evan Lee Jare on the right. That's right, we're gonna see, you just mentioned Evan uh, playing the four or the five here is gonna have a tough matchup with the Braves going with two imports as their four and the five. They're gonna have a big advantage there in the paint, so we'll have to see if he can take advantage of it offensively. Charles Garcia took the first week off in the Plus League. You can register three import players, and two can play at a time on the court until the fourth quarter when only one can be out on the floor. That is the fourth rule of the four uh, special modifications to Plus League basketball. The first being we play 12-minute quarters, six personal fouls before disqualification, and both teams have a coach's challenge that they can issue throughout the game. That is an enhancement on the instant replay system, IRS. And the third and most interesting is under two minutes of play in the fourth quarter and two minutes of each overtime, the players on the floor can call a short 30-second timeout. We're taking a little bit of time for the crowd on hand to find their spots, but they're making their way. That's right, we talked about yesterday, the crowd actually had a, a, a big influence of the game with the fat heads rattling the pilots on their free throws, leading to a 50% shooting percentage on the free throws had a big impact on the game. I'm sure that the Lioneers fans will be loud again today. In the middle of the jump circle on the left is Evan Lee He played quite a few center minutes in the fourth quarter, a little bit to our surprise, but the Lioneers were able to overcome the pilot still Coming out of the fourth quarter with a two-point lead and a four-point win over, excuse me, six-point win overall. So with a ceremonial first tip up, now we're just about ready to get underway. The Lioneers in their purple alternative jerseys and the Happy Fool and Braves in their whites. We can see right away with the Braves putting Big Z on Julian Wright. Play that they ran with nice success yesterday. Julian Wright not being able to finish over the seven-footer. Joseph Lin, an American citizen from Palo Alto. Certain basketball family out of the Bay Area. Hope the way, the Lioners will head down on offense. With Dante Henton crossing over the middle, laying it up and in. And that's what we saw that Dante Henton do such a good job of last night. Getting into the basket on transition, creating fouls, this time getting a three-point op three opportunity, being able to finish with the contact. Now going to the line to see if he can get the free throw. We talked about the pilot struggling from the line, but on the other hand, Henton himself was 12 for 13, which, if you do the math, is 92% from the free throw line. Now it's the Braves turn to counter. Garcia from the top looking for Zaitsev. Very 
capable big man down low, missing the hook shot. So you can see on the first two possessions, the Braves trying to get it into Zaitsev in the post. Not able to capitalize on either opportunity. Evan with the wing three, and it's in. And that's what we saw yesterday. In the first half, Evan was a little indecisive on offense. In the fourth quarter, he started being a little more decisive, just shooting when he had an open shot. On the first possession, not hesitating at all, hitting the three. The Braves get it out of the corner, and now Feast leads the Jia. The veteran sidesteps with a long three off the backboard. Scramble for the rebound, and Oscar will collect. Up ahead to Calvin with a run at the left. Two points. A little bit more excited crowd to start this game. Yesterday a little bit subdued, but today they're in it right away along with their team. 8-0 lead for the Lioneers. So Jet spinning middle. Nothing there. Over to the other side. Jet through the middle. His favorite lead range. No good. And Oscar with another rebound. Calvin come down the way. A lot of defenders in his way. And another two points. And that's the second time that Calvin's leaked out on the shot. The Braves are going to have to pay attention to that going forward. So interestingly enough, they have Jet Zhangzhongxian playing alongside with Joseph Lin. Both of them kind of playing the point guard role that time. Now Charles from the outside, and that'll bounce out of bounds. And that's just the roster flexibility that Coach Roger has. He's able to use Joe at the point. He's able to use Jet at the point. He's got a couple of locals on his bench that he can put in there. It's just a matter of what he thinks is the best matchup. I'm sure going forward, he might try to find a little better matchup. So right, working on Zaitsev. Collaborating with Oscar Call, number four. One of the most popular players thrown our way and out of bounds. And that's just something that teammates are going to have to get better at. We, we talked about it before. Yesterday was their first game playing together. Oscar not sure if Julian's going to be a roller or a popper, leading to the turnover. Nearby is Coach Xu Jingzhe, Roger. In his third year with the Taipei Fubon Braves. Poked away. Julian Wright finally gets a hold of it. And Calvin up ahead. Another layup, another two points. With that 12-0 run to start the game, the Braves want to talk it over. The Lioneers are so deadly when they can get turnovers and lead to transition buckets on the other side. Talked about earlier, Julian Wright with NBA experience, quick hands. He's able to get his hands on those loose dribbles. He did it yesterday a couple times this time with the steal leading to the nice fast break. Easy two-point bucket. Must be very discouraging for a big guy like Wright to be able to pick a little point guard like Joseph Lin's pocket. You're watching the Plus League on YouTube, brought to you in Mandarin and English broadcast. If you're enjoying the game and the broadcast, leave a like and join the conversation on chat. The Braves hardly getting up any shots and also giving up points in the transition. Lioneers jumping out to a quick start. I asked General Manager Kenny Gall before the game if there was any fears of a letdown, and he said, our guys are hungry. They've have letdowns in their careers, and now they're ready to prove themselves winners in the Plus League. That's right. We talk about the Lioneers being an expansion team. They got a lot of cast offs, a lot of guys that other teams didn't want. They're doing a great job proving themselves so far. There are four teams in the Plus League. They'll be playing a 24 game schedule. Hopefully, in the future, we see more teams join the fold. Jet cutting through the middle. A few blockers in the way and poked out of bounds. It will be Lioneers ball. And with that roster flexibility that Coach Roger has, not less than three minutes into the game, he's going with a couple other players that we haven't seen. As we see, Charles Garcia with the aggressive defense getting the steal. Lewis, Jianwei Lu, 
takes the dribble pull up. Garcia underneath and poked away, called for a foul though. Braves looking like a team who hasn't played in a week. A little bit rusty. Hopefully this, these two free throws will get Charles Garcia back in the flow of things a little bit. That possession created on the inbounds where Evan pass to right got intercepted. There we see the Fatheads behind the hoop on that side. Continuing to put in good work. For all of you stat heads out there, we're kind of curious. The point value of uh, free throw distractions seem to be lurk working for the Lioneers favor. The second shot goes down no problem. So the first point of the Taipei Fubon Braves tonight. Evan cutting through the middle through a trap up against Ewo and call for the blocking foul. But once again, when Evan's been decisive these past four quarters, he's been really good. When he starts hesitating, that's where those turnovers come. But again, on the catch, blowing by Garcia, attacking the basket, getting the call, the foul called on the moving big Z. Zaitsev, a Ukrainian, who's played internationally for a number of years. Now, last year with the Taiwan Beer, basketball team in the SBL, which is also here in Taiwan. That's where Big Roger Z looking in. Big Z actually with the import MVP award on his resume, a championship on his resume. This year coming to the Braves. We haven't seen it a lot in the preseason, the synergy between Charles Garcia and Ayor Zaitsev. The Braves often opting to have Michael Singletary in the lineup, the bulky small forward who can do everything. That has their nice spin for Garcia with a layup. But that's where we see Charles Garcia and Big Z having a good match. Garcia being more of a slasher driver, Big Z being able to step out behind the three-point line and spread the floor a little bit. We'll try to set something up, starting from the right side with Wright. Working on an isolation. Now the other side, Oscar intercepting his own teammate's pass. Running out of time, one second with a left-handed flip. A little short. Ladante Henton, haven't said his name a lot today. Getting the offensive board right, shaking and baking. Puts one up. Fall out of bounds off of the Braves. We saw the previous possession in transition. Zaitsev not moving his feet, getting called for the foul this time. Doing a good job, just walling up, hands straight up forcing Julian Wright into the tough shot. Yesterday, Calvin got some opportunities underneath off the inbounds, now working a few dribbles, spinning. That air balls that one off a little bit of contact, he thought. And that's what we saw yesterday with the Braves coaching staff sitting up in the box watching the Lioneers game. I'm sure that's something they mentioned, but Calvin does a great job cutting behind the defense for those early shots out of the baseline out of bounds. In the early going, two fouls for each team. We are at 14 to three, Lioneers lead. Seven minutes, seven and a half minutes in the first quarter left. Winston now driving, that's Ty Winston, with a nice floater for two points. And that's the luxury Coach Roger has. With a rough start for the Braves, he puts a couple veterans in the game to give them a little stability. Now they're down only nine points. Devin with the air ball three. Braves ball again, looks like the Lioneers' run has come to a close. A little out of Evans' range on that three-pointer. Jianwei Lu has gotten starts at different points in the preseason, now coming off the bench, working with Zaisef on the pick. And he'll pull up from the top, a little short. Oscar with another rebound, his third in the quarter. With a nice crossover, not penetrating quite yet. Now right. Kicks out to Oscar, two for two last night, and make that three for three in the early goings of the season. Great look right there by Julian Wright at the top of the key, able to suck in the defense as we see Jet hitting from the perimeter. Julian Wright being able to initiate the Lioneers offense from the top of the key, creating, uh, creating shot opportunities for his guards. Right again from the top. Instructing Henton, Calvin from the corner. A slight height advantage to right from the court wing three. Garcia will collect the rebound and head the other way. Ten point lead for the Lioneers. Braves settling things down a little bit. Garcia cutting, laying it up with the left hand. He thought he was hit. 
great aggressive drive from the top of the key by Garcia. Big Z down, occupying space in the paint. No help. Easy layup for Charles. Garcia with five points. Seen on that last graphic right. In a dangerous spot. Kicks it out to Oscar. He's trying to find some space. He'll be right again from three, and he makes this one. We saw him a little bit hesitant last night to shoot from behind the three-point line. Today, with a couple looks. With a fake and putting it up to run it through the lane. Two points. Adante Henson with the behind the back and crashing into the defense. Looked like Jet was very close to having position, and certainly the Braves thought so. It's actually the second call in transition that the Braves coaching staff is not thrilled with. They thought Zaitsev's foul was should have been a charge. We'll see this one if Jet was there in time. It looked pretty close. Maybe the referees kind of got deeped a little bit. Jet having his momentum pump up just a little bit. I don't know if that goes into the call, but offensive or defensive call off defensive foul called on that one so free throws for Henton he makes the first and short on the second Bryn run side step. that one disrupted by Julian Wright Oscar in the open court gives it up to right through the middle with a left hand the big man making some room and that's where Julian stepping out with those threes earlier in the game Let's see the call on the floor for this one. There's a scene here of Julian hitting a three earlier in the game. Zaitsev up stepping out. Julian with the easy blow by in the left-handed layup. Coach, how difficult is it to actually train guys to shoot the off-handed layup with the off foot? It's, it definitely takes some work, but it's something that not just here in Taiwan, but we've seen in the NBA, a lot of different creative finishes, right-hand finish, right-hand footwork, uh, left-hand finishes, all those quick shots. It's something that in basketball these days, everybody needs to have a part of their package as we see the Braves' two imports showing some good chemistry down in the paint with the interior pass. Wu Dai Hao Wesley has replaced Julian Wright. Hence it from the outside, his rainbow is down. on the board. Jet cutting middle. That's his game. Off the backboard. No good. The Lioners will get the rebound. Way up ahead. Poked away. And the Braves will take this one back. Oscar Gall with the turnover. Now cutting through the middle. Fouled before he can lay the ball up. And that's about the fourth or fifth time we've seen the Braves being able to attack early in transition. This time, Jet, again, doing a good job off of the turnover by Oscar. Just attacking the middle of the floor, getting a one-on-one -on -one with the aforementioned Wesley Wu. A lot of times, Dan Zongxin, Jet, is very lethal in the open court, being the one leaking out like Calvin was earlier. Right now, perhaps tasked with taking the ball up as the point guard. He is one for four on the evening. That's right, it's going to be interesting after the unbelievable shooting night he had last week in the opening game. We'll see if that continues into a second game of the season. This team so far doing a good job driving to the basket. Oscar working the middle. That one slips through. Pan Han, he's in the game now. That's Henry. Oscar getting it back with a mid-range over Zaitsev. Yes! <laughs> the most popular players in Taiwan. Only his first professional year of basketball, formerly in the NCAA level, Southeast Missouri State. Yeah, Oscar he, taking his talents back home. He does a good job on all those pick and rolls of crossing over and putting that defender behind him in jail, not knowing how to get a piece of him. That time, forcing the switch and being able to get the nice shot over the seven-footer Zaitsev. Part of being able to have well, full arena, almost full arena, and full baseball stadiums in Taiwan is our pandemic prevention, including mask wearing in all public places like at the stadium. Zaitsev with a free throw make. Behind him, that's Lai Ting-un. Kong Xiaopao, so a little sports car, little race car. Number zero, in, in the game. 
That's right, and this is about the uh, fourth or fifth guard that Coach Rogers tried at the point guard. Again, starting out with Joe, going with Jed a little bit. Lewis starting out there a little, so let's see if Lighting and has a little more success than the other guys. Lighting and only taller than, only shorter than his opponent right now. That time is Tian Hao on the screen in for the game. That's right, Tian Hao actually with a rough game yesterday, but able to hit a big corner three to kind of put the game away. We'll see if he struggles a bit against the size that the Braves have on the court. Garcia will take a seat before the Braves go back on offense. A little bit of housekeeping. Officially, Tian Hao is listed at 174 as Winston takes a three and knocks it down. And Lai Ting is listed at 176 centimeters, approximately five, nine and a half. Two little guards making their way into the plus league. Ladante Henton off with that three. Lewis will race ahead through the middle. Give it to Zai says. He'll load up and shoot the three and splashes it down. The Lioneers want to talk it over after the Taipei Fu and Braves pull it to within seven points. Right now the time is 3.14, happy high minute and second. So the Braves doing a much better job defensively and it's leading to opportunities still on the offensive end. Yeah, I'm sure the coaching staff, the Lioneers going to this timeout talking about the transition defense. The Braves, as we see Winston, hitting a deep three, but they've done a good job getting into the paint early in transition, regardless whether it's Jet drawing fouls or that time we saw Lewis drive, kick out to the trailing Big Z out there for the three-pointer. They're gonna have to start picking up a little bit earlier or else it creates a lot of opportunities for the Braves. If you're enjoying the Plus League basketball, you wanna check out the Taipei Fuon Braves at Hoping Arena, get a good experience. Their opener, home opener next weekend. They open up on Saturday, January 2nd against the Pilots and then face the Lioneers Sunday, January 3rd. Tickets available on the team site, tix.fubongbraves.com. Getting a look in at the Lioneers timeout. They were issued a warning in last night's game for coming out of the timeouts too slow too many times. Coach, you ever had that problem of having too much to say and not enough time to say it? Uh, it depends who you ask. I'm sure if you ask my former players, I always had too much time to, or too much stuff to say it, never enough time to say it. Shizu, a town known for the technology and the computer scientists here. That's why the name Lioneers, kind of a pun from engineers. Also, their Chinese name is Gong Tenshi, the exact same sounds as the engineers. Mandarin. Now, Xiao Sunyi in the game, number one, getting in a little trouble, and that one is a turnover. Lewis with the late pass, but he'll lay it up, no problem. And you can see those early substitutions by the Braves paying off right now, regardless of whether it's Lewis Chen coming off the bench or lighting and creating a spark defensively. We see the Braves coming out of this timeout, starting out in the zone. Let's see if the Lioners have enough outside shooting or movement to break it. Wesley to Tian Hong, now to the other side. Leading out time, there's Ling Ling right from the corner, unable to hit. After taking that early lead, the Lioneers are seeing their lead drunk significantly. Winston from the top to Ihor on the block. Not his typical starting spot for an offense possession. He's getting tied up and called for the foul. Indeed, it will be a foul call. And it's going to be very interesting because that looks like it's going to be Wesley Wu's third foul. You see Xiao Sunyi going in for the late trap, but picking a bad angle, getting split. Wesley forced the foul. Gonna see what Coach Lin does, taking Wesley out of the game with his third foul. The referees were on top of it. Wesley using both hands. Even Zeiss have a little bit of a tug. Missing the free throw. It's gonna be interesting to see if Coach Rogers stays with that zone. The Lion Ears with not a lot of outside, outside shooting in this lineup. A uh, couple rookies. See if they'll be able to break the zone. Or... Down to a four point lead after going one for two from the line. 
The shooter's on the floor looking for perhaps number seven, Ling Lira. Close to the top now. On the other side, Tian Hao. His make after last night, can't make this one. Noi Sun also in the game now at center, replacing Wesley. He's marking Zaiza. Terminates the dribble and is looking for a teammate. Number 13, Ray Ling Wongshin. Get away to Zaitsev underneath. He likes the middle, he flips it up and in. But that's something where your teammates got to help you. You know that you got a rookie big in there going against one of the best imports to play in Taiwan in the last few years. You got to have some help on the perimeter. Dig down, make those some tougher shots. You can't just let him go one on one. Jocelyn off of the bounce pass. Now the opposite, Ling Ling Run, still no opening. Line here is not crisp with their passing. Now from the top and can't hit. Consecutive misses for the Lioneers and the Braves looking to take the lead. Can't do it there. Let's see if the Lioneers can take advantage of some transition. Not a clean pass yet again. Way short. Bounce. A little bit of volleyball and the Lioneers will get it back. This time will pull up from the left side. Also short. So that's where you said it, Ryan. If they're going to score, they're going to need to take in transition as we see the Braves with another transition opportunity. Lewis finishing on the break. But with this lineup, which we can say is a little perimeter challenged, the Lioneers are going to have to find a way to create some offensive opportunities. No foreign players on the floor for the Lioneers. Kickball. They'll hang on to the possession. So with that, LaDante Henton and Elliot Han, Tan Jin-un will come on. There they are. And that's what we just talked about. Coach Lin seeing that there's no perimeter shooting immediate, well, not immediately, but after a couple of possessions, bringing in up a couple shooters. Coach Roger fearing those shooters back into a man-to-man. -man. A flurry of the stats flashed on your screen, including the Lioneers, six for four, six assists, to four by the Braves. There's a foul called on the floor. Little Tian Hao finding an angle around Zaitsev. That's really, as we see right here, the closeout. The defenders got to know that Tian Hao is not a shooter. He's not somebody who wants to shoot. He's a driver. Take a better closeout angle. Closeout short. You can't put your big in a bad position like that. Zaitsev called for the foul upon stepping up and getting the body bump. No, Evan will come into the game as well. You can see the, the Lioners coaching staff. Maybe it's because it's a back-to-back -back for them, but they've been very liberal on their substitution patterns, using a bunch of players here in the first quarter, giving everybody a little bit of action. Tianhao making the first. I got you. And missing the second. Perhaps one possession left for the Taipei Fubon Braves to try to take the lead here. Garcia now in the game for Zaitsev. Switching. Now Winston finding some space. Right-handed layup is out. And with the buzzer, the Lioneers just hang on to a one-point lead after the first quarter. Good basketball from beginning to end so far. Thanks for watching the Plus League on YouTube. We'll be back after a break.
Be sure to follow the Plus League by liking our Facebook page, P.League of Plus. That's P.League with the plus symbol. Instagram, P.League.official. And interact with us on Twitter at P underscore League underscore EN. And if you want to follow with the up-to-date stats of each game and the season schedule, go to the league site at PLeagueOfficial.com. Coach Ben, in the first quarter, Zaitsev with 10 points, Winston with 7. On the other side, the line here is spreading out the scoring amongst a lot more players. Yeah, that's right. As we mentioned, with the back-to-back, -back, the Lioneers getting all 12 players, a little bit of action there in the first quarter. Coach Greg Lynn trying to see if he can get a spark out of someone. Garcia from the top. Winston will receive, and he's working on Evan, number 12. A little bit stuck. There's Sajet up to Garcia. Bad closeout by Calvin, and almost a turnover, and it is. Calvin unable to crowd that throw a head pass. Julian Wright with a turnover. Garcia didn't quite leave his feet, so turnover for the line years, unable to convert into points. Look out, cameraman. Zijie mentioned he made two crucial threes under two minutes in the fourth quarter against the Dreamers. There's a floater, and Lighting in that rims in and out. Even though he missed that shot, Lighting in's done a good job coming into the game in the middle of the first quarter, just changing the pace. That's what the Braves need to do. Get some speed, get some moving on offense. Right, twist the pick and roll. Now we'll hang on to it. Cross court to Ladante. He's highly contested, but makes the three anyways. And that's something I'm sure Coach Roger talked to those his team about in the timeout. He, Ladante Hinton with a slow start today. Hopefully that three-pointer won't get him going. Doing right. Holding off Garcia, who's able to put it up for two points. This way, Elliott, number six, close to you. Down to Calvin, getting another post-up opportunity. He spins and chased around the rim. Well, Dante from the top now, off iron. Right with a rebound and twisting around and then blow the layup at the rim. Tricky putback, but unable to convert. Up top, but now down low. Good ball movement by the Braves. Winston will slow things down. Trying to find Zijie. He'll pull up from mid range, a little short, right with the rebound. Now all the way up ahead, Calvin this time. And this, Levante's there for the putback. And after that earlier turnover by Julian Wright, this time timing it a little bit better. Calvin with the miss, but Henson with the putback. So we see another transition opportunity for the Lioneers. Way up high over Beast, but off the wrong angle from the glass. Garcia charging with a side step. Throws the dunk off iron. And that's something that we see from Charles a lot. Not the missed dunk. But that Euro step, he's one of the players who's done a great job of adjusting to the new FIBA rules. Valve on his way to the hoop, bumped in the head. And he's able to take advantage of those long strides, get to the basket, and this time create a foul. Elliot and Julian right there on the defense. Garcia still down, trying to recuperate. Those two actually teammates last year for a good chunk of the season. See Ellie going over, saying, my bad. My arms are just a little too short. Can't get to the ball. Can only slap you in the face. I'm assuming that's what he said. Very possible. And Taiwan, we often see the uh, maybe made up dialogue. And that was a preface for interactions and jokes. Winston will take a seat on the bench in front of us. Garcia will rim out the first free throw. Seems like the visiting teams will have problems shooting their charity shots from the stripe. The second, it's true. 34-31, Lion Ears maintaining a lead. Just hitting the nine minute mark in the second quarter. The Braves, for 
They're going their zone right now with Nan. Calvin, a lot of attention. Finds Oscar, who's back in the game. He'll switch it up to Evan. From mid-range, the pull-up, too strong off, off glass. But once again, we see the Lioners struggling a little bit to get their offense started. With big strides, Garcia unable to hit. Now Oscar, natural lefty, will float it up off the glass and rims out. Having trouble making shots on this side. Now Lai Tingan with a breakaway, three on one. We'll finish number eight, So Kui. The rookie getting some time here in the second quarter as both teams, again, using a big roster. So Kui goes by Josh. He was out of Sifan University, Teachers University. Now Evan from deep. Off iron for the three. It's interesting. We've seen the last couple of possessions, Oscar being moved off the ball, not being as much of a threat when his strength is going to that pick and roll. That pass poked away and Sen will collect. They'll slow things down, try to set up a good shot. Lioners in their first year of operations, getting their first W last night. Braves a much more long history team. Now sent from outside, barely grazed the rim. And that's where Coach Lynn's got to talk to Oscar. I'm not sure what the play call is, but again, that possession we saw him again, passing the ball off onto the perimeter, getting out and not being able to touch the ball again. They're gonna have to find some way to get their offense started as opposed to having their big shoot from three. Quick stint from Jack Zhengzhi, and he's off for Zaitsev. Working down low and double. Couple passes and swinging even more. Josh with a floater. He's strong. Zaitsev right there for the rebound and put back. So we can see there, we talked about earlier in the first quarter, if you know you have a local de defending an import, you got to give them some help. The Lioners come in with the easy, with the early trap, forcing a tough miss. Unfortunately, relaxing there on the shot, giving up the offensive rebound and three-point opportunity. Not as much size for the Lioners. The th extra point missed. The Lioners, as well as the Formosa Taishing Dreamers, who have this weekend off, give and go. Calvin with a floater, too strong over everything, but the backboard. And that's something that Zaitsev does a good job of, just being big, walling up, not giving the defense or offense a chance to create those fouls as you see Garcia beasting his way into an easy layup opportunity. But Big Z just does a good job of getting his hands up and forcing tough shots. Not going for every block, forcing guys shoot over the top of it. So now that it's a three-point Braves lead, well, the Lioners want to talk it over. I'm Ryan Chen along with Coach Ben here for this plus league basketball game. We'll be back after a break. The Taoyuan Pilots also have their home opener next weekend. Wheels down on Sunday, January 3rd at 2.30 p.m. at the Taoyuan Dome. Buy your tickets on the Ibon Network here in Taiwan. Search Taoyuan Ling Hangren. Getting a look at the crowd on the baseline side. Over by the line here's bench. It's going to be interesting to see what matchup differences that Coach Lin has gone up with out of this timeout. Offense struggling out a little bit, getting into actions, getting good shots. Let's see what he talks about in that timeout. As we see Lighting getting a little aggressive on defense. 
saw in the graphic there, 18 paint points for the Braves, only eight for the Lioneers. Clean strip this time. A dive on the floor, out of bounds off of Oscar Gall. So call for the foul earlier, the second time, Lai Ting -un with the clean strip. Josh, give it up to Lai. Now this way, Oscar commits another foul. Trying to strip the ball away. That's something Oscar's just got to know. He just created that foul on the other end. He's got to understand if that's how the refs are going to call it. He's got to adjust because we know that the refs aren't going to. Strong hands by Light. Hang on. He'll retain possession now. Jumping the pass. That's Evan. Lioneers will head down on offense. Out of the corner. Oscar will cut through. Hook pass on the much smaller line. Henry unable to finish, collect the rebound. He'll try to reset. 14 second shot clock for Joshua E. All the way to the hoop, but blows the layup. Four steals yesterday for Oscar. He had four turnovers as well. Now Garcia underneath. Lineer is able to prevent the made shot. Great job again by Chuck getting that early position there, and we've seen the Lioneers go with that early double team in the second quarter. Good job forcing him baseline, giving him a tough angle for that shot. Lai Ting will take a seat on the bench. He's replaced by Zhang Zhongxian, number three on your screen. Joseph Lin as well. Floater no good. Our way through the transition. That time, Xiao Sui Yi tried to bulldoze the defender, but threw the ball out of bounds instead. Good job by Josh right there, anticipating that pseudo Euro to the other in about eight hours' time. Those are the uh, plastic noisemakers we mentioned before. Kind of in the stylings of maybe Japanese animes where you get one of those to the face. But please don't do that. Play nice. There are Calvin. He's kind of an interesting player because at times he's so very intense, but at other times he's such a such a goofy and entertaining character. All things we're learning as part of the uh, broadcast here in the Plus League. Yeah, it's fun to see Calvin have a chance to come back to his hometown to play. Obviously going to high school here, going to college here. Being the first year of this team, so he was one of the targets that they wanted to bring here, not just to have him as a player, but also to bring in local fans. It's been really fun to see him interact with all of his former childhood teachers and all those bringing them to the games. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Two minutes, 15 seconds on the first half game clock. Let's see how both teams will close out the half. Jet will receive. Kind of loose with the basketball there. Throws it up and turnover. And committing the foul as the Lioneers were going down the other way. And that's not what Jet does best. Jet's done a good job, especially on this game. Obviously getting out in transition, but again, attacking the weak side. Getting the ball in the rotation, attacking him, closing out defender, getting to the rim. And that pick and roll, not a lot of space for him to go anywhere. Ends up with a turnover. Calvin will control from the top. Michelle. Working the pick, now hooks it to right underneath the Calvin. They like him there on the low block. Feeling his way, the double comes, in trouble. And Zaisev will take that ball away. That's, I'm sure, something that Calvin has not seen before. Double post in the, or double team in the post. So we see Charles going once again, finding body contact in transition being able to finish. The Lioneers like to have their guards post up, and in that time, the Braves sent help from a big, not a typical side on the basketball court. Right, over to Henry. Calvin now with a three-point attempt. No good. Got a miscommunication from the Braves on defense there. Lioneers battling them out with a missed three. Lewis will swing it around. Winston to Jet. 
Zaitsev cross court underneath the Garcia. He's always hesitant from the left corner. Now spins. He finally called for the foul after he hit the floor. He's all right this time. Yeah, I'm sure most of our fans are very familiar with Charles's play. Again, he's been in Taiwan for a few years. He's also played in South Korea and the Philippines. So they'll know that he's not a guy who goes on the catch. He likes to catch it, square up, or just kind of observe where the defense is. And he's looking for contact every play. He's looking for contact. Again, doing a good job getting to the line. We'll see what those fat heads can do on these two free throws. Just a one-point lead for the Shinzu Jeko Lioneers, their second game of the young season. So Charles Chuck Garcia at the line. His first free throw is good. Out of Southern California. Was at Seattle from 09 to 10, Seattle University. We'll go two for two from the line. And give the Braves the tie score, less than a minute left in the first half. Again, big lineup here for the Lioneers. Still trying to go into the post. Let's see if they'll be able to get the two for one. Oh. Blocked, I should say, out of bounds. That time, Winston over there with a help. Ty Winston. With the moniker, a foreign import player for his playing smarts. One of the best rebounders in Chinese Taipei, despite not being the biggest guy. Shot clock running down. Henson with the fourth shot. Will be called for an air ball and therefore a 24 second shot clock violation. Lioners really struggling at the end of this second quarter, just trying, trying to find some way to start their offense with no natural point guards on the court. It's tough. Lewis from the top. He's guarded by Evan. Still probing, still looking for an opportunity. Underneath, poked away. That time trying to find Zaisev. Julian Wright in the transition. Will pull up from three on the wing. Missing. Almost everything, and the ball bounced into the press area. You got a little bit of the net on that shot. Not a lot more. You don't get a lot of credit for that kind of shot. Yeah. Coach Rogers saying this sure should be a little bit more time on the clock. And in now FIBA basketball rules, they can check time of, on the game clock okay. thanks to the video replay system. I'm guessing the, even the scoring table was a little shocked that Julian Wright missed that three by quite that much. Not able to hit the clock in time. Wadja Shri communicating with our Hi. official for the game. They are chief crewed by Shia One Way. There are 12 referees in the plus league. Gone through extensive training, so 0.13 seconds put on the clock, and that won't result in any more points. So the Taipei Fubon Braves with the one-point lead, 44 to 43, as we head to the halftime break. Stick with us for more halftime breakdown of this plus league basketball game. Folks, we have a good one here. I'm Ryan Chen along with Coach Ben here in Xingzhou, Taiwan, home of the Xingzhou Jieko Lioneers. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back. Thank you. 
，让孩子们演奏的一个乐音融入呢，在呢我们生活的每个场合以及呢每个角落。今天呢，他们特别呢来到了我们活动现场，为工程师加油，还加入了小小拉拉队，也特别的耳目一新。也请大家呢期待六家国小弦乐团为我们带来精彩的演出。7,236 in the arena tonight for the Shinzu Jeko Lioneers facing off of the Taipei Fubon Braves. Their first matchup in the season. They will eventually come together eight times throughout the season. Over on the Mandarin side, our colleagues David on the left and Coach Jafan Jeff on the right. Taking a look at the box scores. Recounting the First half action, the Lioneers jumping out to an early 15-point lead at some point. Then the Braves countered and got to a six-point lead themselves. Interestingly enough, the Lioneers not too far behind in the rebounding department, despite being both in position and in physical stature-wise, a lot shorter than the Braves. Julian Wright, LaDante Henton making their plus league debut last night critical to keeping the Lioneers in this one. Whereas on the other side, the Braves utilizing their size and attacking the basket. Their top scorers are Dior Zaisev and Charles Garcia. They've only taken three, three, they've only taken seven three-pointers and made three, excuse me. Lioneers a little bit more balanced of approach. 
19 three-point shots to 26 two-pointers. And we talked about before the free throw shooting. And actually, for in this contest, for both teams, probably less than where they want it to be. Uh, I know it's certainly less than where the coaches want it to be. As far as the coach is concerned, anything less than 100% is probably uh, not quite good enough. Coach Ben pointed out in the first quarter, the Lioneers got everyone involved. All 12 players have gotten some court time. On the other side, the Braves only have Jay Gorsalje, who hasn't came on the game. Checking out the stats graphics. The score is 44 to 43 in favor of the Braves. There's the shooting percentage. Slightly favoring the Braves as well. Rebounding just about even. Assists will be 9 to 6 for the Lioneers. And turnovers, one more for the Braves at 12 and 11 for the Lioneers. Thanks for watching the broadcast. If you're watching on YouTube, it'll help us a lot if you give it a like. Hopefully you're enjoying the chat room. We've been told it's been a lot more pleasant of an experience. So thanks for tuning in to the Plus League basketball game here in Shinzu. We'll be back after a break. Hao 西十四排七號。西新風區 Welcome to more halftime coverage. The contest between the Xingzhu Jieko Lioneers and the Taipei Fubang Braves. The halftime scenes around the arena where perhaps some fans are going to the outside of the arena for some refreshments and some snacks. Checking out the top scorers for the Braves. Garcia with 14, Zaisef with 12, Winston number 14, Taiwan Ted with 7, Jet Zhang Luxian with 5, number 2, Jian Wei Lu, Lewis with 4. The big guys taking advantage of their size. And on the other side, the Lioneers with Dante Henton, Hun Tou with 15, Calvin Chen Lihua with 10, Oscar Gongwuhua with 5, so does Julian Wright with 5, and Lee Jare, Evan with 5 as well. Yeah, it looks like the Lioneers are going to lead a little bit more out of Ladante Henson in the second half. Right now, he's pretty much the only thing that the Lioneers have going, finding shots, opportunities on the perimeter, getting some good looks in transition. But again, the Lioneers struggling a little bit out of their half-court sets to get some good looks as we see a nice baseline outlook right there. They're going to need more of that if they're going to want to come back from this one-point deficit. As far as the Braves are concerned, it's our first action from Charles Garcia this season, and he does what he does best, work in that perimeter, regardless of whether it's on drives from the perimeter, early post in transition, or 
tough buckets right there on the post. But Charles Garcia, after spending a couple minutes trying to get his rhythm back after not playing a game in six months, finding a way to score 14 points there in the first half. Levante Hendon was at 75% true shooting percentage, a very high mark. Charles Garcia playing alongside fellow big man Ihor Zaitsev a lot of the time in the first half, creating a one-point advantage for the Braves, but we still have half a basketball to go. 12-minute quarters, plenty of opportunity, and other rule modifications will bring you those after the half. I'm Ryan Chan along with Coach Ben, Benjamin David Metcalf. It's a battle of two teams from very different kind of backgrounds. Line Years, an expansion franchise created in the year 2020 to join the Plus League as the fourth team to round out the group. On the other side, the Braves have taken many forms through different, many different iterations in their team history. Arriving at this point last year, starting their season with the ASEAN Basketball League. All that and more after a break. Thanks for joining us. We'll be right back. Then 那我們這裡面會有十張VIP的檢發卡 watching the Plus League on YouTube, brought to you in Mandarin and English broadcast. Over here, we're doing the commentary in all English, except player's name and where necessary to teach the audience all the fun things about Taiwan and the language and the people. If you're enjoying the game and the broadcast, leave a like and join the conversation in chat. What we've seen in the first game last night and the second game so far, the Lioneers are indeed who they we thought, and that is a team of streaks, and also a team that could get really slowed down on both ends of the floor as well. Yeah, Ryan, it's going to be very interesting to see. Interesting to see what role Coach Lin has in mind for Oscar Gao in the second half. Again, last night did a great job off the pick and roll, creating. He started to get taken a little bit off the ball. Actually, his biggest contribution in the first half was probably his rebounding, getting seven defensive rebounds and able to bring it up the floor right off that. As we see the Lioneers doing what they do best, getting out in transition, finishing there. Big man Julian Wright with a tricky steal on Joseph Lin. Right now around us, the News girls, the Lioneers cheerleaders are passing the 
fat heads around to the audience on this side of the floor. Try to help out their home team with that free throw line. There's Calvin Chen Lee-Huang with 10 points. Another efficient shooting night. So far, 55%. Taking advantage of rim runs and early layup opportunities before the Braves' defense gets there. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what lineup Coach Roger comes out here in the second half. That starting lineup, regardless of whether it was Beast or Joe, after some time off, had a, had a rough start. Had a little spark off the bench with their uh, little shout out to the point guard, Lighting, and coming in the game, changing the pace a little bit. We'll see if he mixes it up here in the second half to start out with the third quarter. There it's on your screen, Ihor Zaitsev, Ukrainian national with 12 points. Four for seven shooting and three for five from the free throws line. That's right, he's still a, he's still a presence there in the paint. We've seen a good job. Despite the fact that he only has one block on the box score, did a great job just getting in guys' way, walling up, forcing some tough shots out of it. As we see the Braves coming out of the third quarter huddle, Jim Weiru, number two, the shooter, starting out here in the second half. So not only is it a contrast in team history, for example, the Braves, coached by Roger Shu, who's been in the profession since 1998 when he gave up being a player and started coaching at his alma mater at Saixing High School. On the other side, Kobe Lun in his first year. Ladante with a fancy spin but a lot of resistance. Lewis collects the rebound. Winston driving, poked out of bounds and off his own leg. Oscar with a nice pick. <laughs> Quick hands on transition to poke the ball off of Winston's leg. Lioners with another possession here on offense. Yeah, we see the first possession that the Lioners had trying to get it into LaDante Henson's hands. This side going back. Once again, trying to get him off the pin down. Now showing a zone. Interesting look. Oscar now from the left corner. A little bit off. And that's where the Lioners are going to have to do a better job moving off the ball. Actually, Julian Wright is a great passer. The teammates start cutting. I'm sure he'll be able to find him. Lewis now from the left wing. Dante will collect the rebound. And this is where the Braves just have to set up a wall. Again, good job by Winston not letting LaDante get to the rim in transition. Forcing the Lioners into the half court where they struggle a little bit. Evan looking for an opportunity. Now right will dribble. Leave it to Oscar. A lot of hesitation. Now right will pull up from three and airball it. Bad possession by the Lioners. Right, a lot of guys not wanting to shoot, forcing the almost, as we talk about turnovers in transition, the Lioners forcing another transition turnover from the Braves. See what they're able to do with it. Right to Oscar, hesitating yet again. Now Evan from the right side. He'll splash it down. <laughs> Ugly possession there by the Lioners, but I'm sure Coach Lynn will take it. Evan had only five points in the first half. Poked away. The active hands of Julian Wright. They're very slow with this opportunity. Now Evan again from the right side. Rims in and out. Garcia up ahead to Jet. He lays it up and in. Jet doing what he does best. Move. We'll clean up the floor a little bit opportunity to make sure the player safety is maintained. Don Lushan played last year for the Formosa Dreamers. Formerly did play with the Braves. Lineers setting something up. Not much going on now. It's a Ladante post up. He finds space and misses everything. We'll collect another rebound. Ladante is proving to be a very good off rebounder. Missing the layup there. He was alone. Garcia with momentum. Lays it in. And we've seen that combination before. Big Z running the paint, sealing the defense under the basket, and Charles Garcia going after that rim, attacking hard with the layup. 
16 to 14, the second quarter individual quarter score. Things are kind of slowed down just a little bit. Evan through the middle with an and one. And that's one of those things where I'm sure Coach Roger talked to his team before saying, please do not jump at his pump fakes. He's pump faking only to get you in the air. Charles getting a little caught on that closeout. Leach IRA with a good rip through, attacking the rim, able to finish with the opportunity for the three point play. Lewis called for the foul. And three point opportunity missed. Tied game at 48, under four minutes. Under nine minutes, excuse me, in the third quarter. Lewis now through the middle, foul. And will get an and one of his own. That's where we see the Braves trying to get everybody a little bit of a touch on offense with the dribble handoff, getting back to that high pick and roll with Lewis. Typically not known as a pick and roll player, but again, able to finish through that contact. Once again at the line going against the defense of the fat heads behind us. We'll see how he fares. And rims that one out. Typically the seats on the baseline side are very unpopular. Trying to make it a lot more fun with the fat heads and the distractions when the other team free throws. Henton alone in the right corner. And he punishes the Braves for leaving him open. Again, great look right there by Calvin. Pick and roll going to his strong left hand. Nice hook pass to Henton for the three. I mean, Tambo Shin blocked right, defending both two guys that time. Oscar. Crazy dribble, but he'll get it back under control now. Taking their time. Unable to connect on the interior pass. Calvin thought he was held. But again, not sure where that offense is going to come from. This pass possession we see right there. Calvin with a great hook pass over to Henry on that single side on the pick and roll. As we see, the great block right there by Julian Wright. And getting the ball back. One point lead for the Lioneers. Joseph Lynn cutting through the middle. He's in the game. Winston block. Can't find the basketball. There he is and will find two points. That's what Winston does. He always seems to be around the basketball. That time catching his own miss being able to put it in for two. Foul on the floor. Looks like a fight for position. Called against Winston. So perhaps caught on the body hold down low, and that is what the call was. Oscar will inbound. You can see on the After starting the second half on the bench, Joe Lynn getting back in the game as Coach Roger also looking for somebody to initiate his offense. Out of time, Calvin can't find any room. Jet guarding him closely to right with the fall away air ball. And that's as the defense starts to adjust. They're going to find out right, not a hard roller. He's going to roll right into that pocket in the mid range. Last time with a little bit of over help leading to Henton's three on the weak side. This time helping at the appropriate amount, creating that turnover. Number nine, Kosal JJ in the game. Didn't see any action in the first half. Right now at the bottom of your screen in the corner. Ready to help his team out. Now Tomo Shin with a screen and the step up. Garcia there with a put back dunk. Three point lead for the Braves and now we have a timeout on the floor. Kobe Luen on your screen. Want to talk it over, get his team right. Man, David over there can go.
掌声，谢谢我们穆斯女孩我们带来精彩的表演。好，那在现场跟我们现场的朋友呢报告一下，昨天有来的举手。As a reminder to the fans, some unique features of the Plus League includes 12-minute quarters. That means six personal fouls to a disqualification once per team per game. Coaches can issue a challenge for a video replay review, typically of out-of-bounds nature or twos or threes. There's CEO of the league, Charles Chen, participating in the big board promotion. And the last key is the player timeout that can be called with less than two minutes left in the game. Oscar will dribble against Joseph Lin. Interesting matchup in the preseason where they're playing each other very hard on the defensive end. Right to the corner, crossing up, sidestep. Puts that one off the glass and in. See, coming out of the timeout, coach going with the same Calvin, Julian Wright pick and roll, this time without a shooter on the weak side, gonna get to Wright on the post up. Ball poked away, but called for the foul. That's what Chuck does best. He's finding contact, he's looking for contact. You see him going right into bodies. Evan getting caught with his hands on the cookie jar, baseline out of bounds for the Braves. They inbounding from the bottom is Jet running out of time, so they have to get it all the way out to Garcia. Guarded by the much smaller Oscar. Underneath the Zaisev, that shot disrupted, but it still falls. That time, Julian Wright with the help. Once again, good chemistry from Chuck Garcia there and the other big Eeyore Zaisev. Yeah, Chuck does a great job getting into the lane. Big Z with a good job making himself available for the easy two. With English, the ball getting to right, across to Evan. He'll step up, shoot a three, and knocks another one down. Once again, Kuban Braves jumping at that pump fake, giving him space, letting him shoot in rhythm. Call for the foul again, will it count? It will not. Well, that's another foul for the Lioneers, unable to defend cleanly. A couple possessions in a row. There's Evan. And that's you talked about, Ryan, guys using different footwork, using different finishes. Close out these days with guys only wanting to shoot threes. We talked about guys shooting threes. Zaisef with a miss, and Calvin with a head of steam. Back to right, and he's fouled on the shot. But on those closeouts, you can let guys pump and then get other open space on that three-point line. You gotta force the dribble closeout to the body. A little bro hug after the play. Joseph from behind. Probably thought it was clean. He's got two fouls on the evening. We started at 5 p.m. local time for the broadcast and really enjoying our time here in Xingzhou. This stadium, for the first time, has a professional team. All the stadiums besides the Zhanghua County Stadium host of the Formosa Dreamers, who played in the ABL, having a home arena. Now the Braves, last year at Hooker, Joseph Lin counters with a three. Again, struggling a bit to get his rhythm back after an extended time period off. Joe finally getting able to, being able to get loose from behind the three-point line. Sweet lefty shot. Okay, home in the game. We'll flip it back to right. He's trying to find an opportunity. From the corner, Lehman. He'll get on the board with that three. Both coaches looking for some sparks off the bench. Joseph Lin and, and Liren doing exactly that. Zaisev, he will cut through and connect thanks to Joseph Lin's assist. Again, Joe obviously looking a lot more comfortable in the third quarter as he gets a little bit of time under his belt. Great little dump pass to Zaitsev on the roll. Four for seven from three for the Lioneers, helping them out a big time. Evan, Garcia read him well. Risky pass, he'll get another chance. Short and to the left. Joseph with a head of steam. 
Trying to get some help. He'll just wait for the defense to get by and knock the second one down. Great couple possessions there for Joe Lynn. Coming back into the game after starting on the bench in the third quarter, a couple threes. Nice little look on the roll. And just like that, the Braves pull apart for a five-point lead. Ning Lee Nun profiled as a shooter. Now nice pass, Elliott. Low the layup, Fung Chang. To the corner, he's open again. Joseph, not three for three. Line here is a slow it down and try to find another opening. So this is where we need somebody to come step up, help Julian on that offensive end. He'll pull up from the mid-range and be short. Joseph getting in a little bit of trouble. Now to Garcia. Through the middle. Tangled up, not called. Tom Don't Shit with the rebound and the step back. He'll put it in. Sloppy action here on the offensive end for the Braves, but once again, two points is two points. The graphic on the screen is points in the paint favoring the Braves 40 to 18. Now the offensive rebounding starting to become a problem. Second chance points and openings on that right side of the defense particularly. That's right, with Wesley Wu in foul trouble from the first half, the Lioneers coaching staff is, is really limited in what kind of help they can give in the paint. The Braves doing a great job attacking the paint, not just looking for post-ups, but again, regardless whether it's Joe Lynn on the pick and rolls, Charles Garcia driving from the, out, in, from the perimeter, doing a great job finding bodies, getting into that paint, getting good opportunities, putting pressure on the defense. Not a good sign that Joseph making two consecutive three-pointers have put the Braves ahead in the three-point percentage ahead of the Lioneers. That's right, after that rough stretch he had in the first half, obviously feeling a little bit more comfortable here in the third quarter. Great sequence by Joe Lynn, leading the Braves to a seven-point lead here in the third quarter. Those are his first points in the ball game. First points in the plus league, right, Ryan? That is correct. Good catch. Again, we got a lot of firsts right here. You can see Guo Saojie also getting his first action here in the third quarter. With both sides of both use all 12 players. The Plus League will only have games on the weekend, so it'll be interesting to see how the teams match up or how they adjust on their back-to-backs. The plan is for every home team to have consecutive home games to help out the business in the local area, tourism and all the like. Driving, Kian Hong, Ling Li Nun, not corralling that one cleanly until he gets it back. Yeah, tough pass right there by Tian Hao. Good hammer action, but him not being able to make the left-handed pass really struggled. Forcing one up and another air ball. Spe Lioneers embarrassing themselves in that category. Speaking of struggles, great defense there by the Braves. Forcing the Lioners into a tough shot as Coach Lin recognizes no scoring threats on the floor, getting LaDante Henson back into the game as quickly as possible. Garcia will take a seat for the Braves. Zaisef, Jay, Mongshue, Joseph Lin, and Zhang Dongxian, Jet, for the Braves. The ominous video game music, let's see, it doesn't help the Lioners. They fall down to 10 points behind the Taipei Fubon Braves. Early possession underneath. Charles Swing unable to finish. Again, a couple guys coming in right off the bench. Contributing. Limong Shui with the block. Bo Saojie with the three, as we see Jet missing from the mid-range. The early push, nothing there. Now Henry to find Henton. Slow to make a move, hit step back from long two. Very tough. We talked about earlier, knowing that LaDante Henton is probably going to be the biggest threat for the Lioneers on that post-up. Jet stepping way over, not letting him get a shot. Over the top, call for the foul. Xiao Sun Yi will go to the line. Kuo Sao Jie underneath the basket. Looks like both guys are okay. A couple former teammates there. We'll see if he was still moving. 
It was close. I'll let the fans decide whether that one's a block or a charge. We're set up close to the Fubang Brave side of the arena, and guys who caught the video replay on the big boards. Did they think it was a block or a charge? Fairly certain they thought it was a charge. Mm -hmm. but, uh, we'll have to ask them later. First free throw is in. Lioners. Very stagnant in this quarter. That was the case last night where they only scored 16. Second free throw, no good. And right there, a little bit of unintentional assist. Gets two points and a three point possession for the Lioners in the end. That's Joseph right. guarded Ty Lee by Tian Hong. Finding room now underneath. Nice pass. Most share there for the two points. Great cut right there from the weak side. We saw Jet getting a good cut. Earlier, unfortunately, getting blocked by Julian Wright. That time, Mungshe being able to get loose on that backdoor cut for the layup. Wright and Henson in the game for the Lioners. Henry lucked out with that foul. And Mungshe committing another one. I think, Ryan, you've talked about it before. These Lioners, they're a really young team. A lot of rookies. They're obviously a new franchise. They're very, very streaky, not just individually, but also as a team. Great start there in the first quarter, then going through a lull in the second quarter. Here in the third quarter, going through another lull. Now trying to just manufacture points, whether off the offensive glass or here, just getting to the free throw line. Pangua Hunt is at the line. He goes by Henry. Plank that one out. The six foot five, about 196 centimeter forward. Out of Tyson High School. Got three steals in the game to help his team out. No points yet. There's his first. And that's something the Lioners are going to need to do. Manufacturing points, you're getting to the line. Struggling from the perimeter, you got to make those free throws. Give your team a chance. Dong Dong Shik, guarded by Xiao Sun Yi. Good offensive and defensive matchup. We'll give it up to Jay. Gets by to Dante and fouled on the floor. Like Tian Hao reached in, try to stop that drive. His first of the evening. So 30 seconds left. Lioners need to get a good stop here and then get a score to make this a game going into the fourth. Let's see how they define. Zhang Zhongxian going through the middle, his favorite spot. Switching to the other side, that ball retained possession. A wild shot, beat the buzzer. And there's the stop. Here they come. LaDante, fouled by Joseph, trying to intercept the pass. Again, good job there by the Lioners, just giving themselves a chance. Good stop there in the defensive end, getting a transition opportunity. Once more, easy points. Everything in the half court is difficult for them, so they need every point they can from the free throw line. Getting his hands between LaDante's, led to the foul. Beast will come in, number 12 on your screen. 10 years in the Chinese Basketball Association in the mainland. One of the highest level of competitions here in Asia. Zaisef will come off. Would you say Beast is the most popular player in uh, Taiwanese basketball history? He's got probably the most unique status in Taiwan in that they say the entire island is his home court. A lot of cheers for him in Tsanghua when they were down for opening game last Saturday. One for two from the line. Lioners down by seven, Braves up by seven. Joseph from the top, a little too strong and that'll be the end of the third. So after the Braves with an excellent quarter, the Lioners will try to counter this veteran team, eyeing that top spot to get into the Plus League Championship Final Series all the way in May. These two teams right now just competing to be 2-0. Thanks for being with us. We'll be back after the third, fourth quarter break.
debut of the Shinzu Lioneers at home, Shinzu County Stadium. Next weekend, we have two home arena debuts, the Taipei Fubon Braves, after playing in the ABL for part of the 2019-2020 season, cut short by COVID-19, will debut in the Plus League at home at their home arena, Taipei Hoping Stadium. If you're around, Saturday, January 2nd and January 3rd, find your tickets at TIXFubonBraves.com. And the other one, the last team, will be the Taoyuan Pilots. Their home opener, Sunday, January 3rd at 2.30 p.m. at the Taoyuan Dome. Search for Taoyuan Li Hangyuan, Taoyuan Pilots on the Ibon Network. The return of the Jedi theme as the Braves will get this fourth quarter started. Sloppy turnover there, two on one. Oscar with a flip layup, unable to finish. Ladante fouled on the putback. Garcia there. Second time we've seen in this game, Ladante Hinton following his teammates miss in transition, this time getting to the line for two shots. And then Garcia coming over. Looked like possibly hit the first time, but definitely the second. That's what he was called for. Splash at the first free throw. Big credit to first-time coach we've mentioned, Lin Guanrun, Kobe Lun. Last year, he was still a player himself. But now he's switching to the coaching ranks and led these young Lioneers to their first victory and still within striking distance in the second game. Joseph to Garcia. He'll slow it down. Zijie. Won't be able to do anything because Garcia called for the offensive foul. The slightest of movement called the foul. A couple bad offensive turnovers here for the Braves in the first two possessions. Garcia moving a little bit on that screen. We saw last week Coach Roger willing to let Beast sit on the bench for the whole third quarter and then play the fourth. We'll see if he's able to have that same heroic performance as he did last weekend. Calvin. Over to Wesley on top, veteran center, 37 years old. Ladante with the leaner, but missing everything. Joseph, going from deep, be short. Oscar, the leader in team rebounds. Calvin flying through the middle. Here come the Lioneers. The Braves will try to Put out this run, leading by three. Beast is working on Calvin. Find a teammate. Ray Chen to Winston. He's driving, not a lot of room. Underneath, poked away. Oscar leading the pack. A lot of defenders around him. Calvin there with the lefty finish. The Braves, Braves lead down to one. Them starting out the fourth quarter with a bunch of turnovers. Ball just sticking. Staying in that same right corner there on the baseline. We'll see if Rogers able to fix something in this timeout. We'll go to break, and so will the players. We'll be back after a word. Quite a sight to behold, professional basketball here in Taiwan, a revival of sorts. The Plus League in its first year, it's been 20 years since 
professional level of basketball has been played in, on the island. So things that we might take for granted in other sports industries in other countries, brand new experience for fans in Taiwan, including home arenas with basketball. The crowd getting involved with the timeout. Yeah, we were here before the start of the fourth quarter. The crowd was really getting into it, obviously. The Lionairs felt that and brought that energy back to the court. Coming out here with a 6-0 run to start the fourth. Wesley providing a little help for Oscar to get back in position. Call for another oh, offensive foul on the break. Oscar, this time, the man unable to get around the, deep, the screener. Zaisev doesn't have much for him. And that's one of those Euro screens that if the refs are going to call it, he's going to have to adjust. Oscar there with a little bit of embellishment on the call, but he got the call, so it's all worth it. He definitely likes embellishment. He enjoys the spotlight, we'll just say that. Wesley from the top. Over to Calvin. Ladante cutting through the middle, but he's marked by Gar Zaitsev. Probably not the guy you want to shoot over. Running out of time. The lefty will pull up. Oh. And Oscar will finally click the rebound, slow it down. You can see there the Braves switching mid possession into a zone, doing a good job getting the stop, but not being able to collect the defensive rebound. At the rim, Oscar will lay it in, and the Lioneers take the lead back. Good cut there, bailing his team out. He was there flailing on the ground. Great finish over the seven-footer. See Larry Bird assist from the ground, and now Calvin Chang's got one of those in his personal highlight video montage. Bit of miscommunication from the Lioneers there on that pick-and-roll coverage, but here we talked about last night some of these shorter guards having a tough time finishing over these big seven-footers. Obviously with his time there at Southeast Missouri State, Oscar Gaussin, a ton of those guys, so that teardrop finish not an issue for him. Would have been a senior this fall, but choosing to sign with the Lioneers. And you can see that their fan base is very excited about him coming back. And bounce. And the Lioneers will control. Pan Guan Han, number 11. Wesley, number 54. Ladante Henton. Calvin Chang. That called out of bounds. It will be Braves' ball. You've seen the Braves here in the fourth quarter get a little bit bogged down in their offense. Ball staying on the same side of the court. The Lioneers putting a lot of pressure. Coach Roger coming back with a rookie here. And Tokoyu putting a lot of faith in him. Indeed, on the replay, it was out of bounds. So, Josh cutting. Now, I'm leaving at Sound Zone Shane. He'll find an opening. No one steps up. Wesley with a rebound. Yeah, Sound Zone Shane has made a lot of strides in his outside shooting. Now, Wesley will try. Unable to hit. Pretty common sight for the last really 10, 15 years for big guys to be shooting threes. Foul on the drive. More free throws for the Braves. I actually talked with Wesley before the game. He was saying that if he hit a three in the game, he was expecting that confetti to come off. So it's probably a good thing he didn't hit that three. Referring to last night where the operator of the confetti upon the Lioneers' supposed victory went off a little too early. Cam Hall three in the corner with 30 seconds left. It wasn't the end of the game, but it was a nice lead for the Lioneers. Zaisev with the veteran move where he hooked Wesley's arm, getting the foul. But that's the second time in two possessions that Wesley's got in trouble just getting his hands right and then cooking each other. Zaisev with the vet move, like you said, just ripping through those hands. Wesley, unfortunately, having to go to the bench with five fouls. So on for him is Evan Lee Jarre. Not quite as big, but going to be tasked with playing a big position. And now Pan Guayan marking Zaisev. Underneath. And more free throws. This time getting around the defense, unsuspecting. Bit of miscommunication there from the Lioners on the baseline out. The rookie good, doing a good job of getting LeDante Hinton in the air. 
not being able to finish through contact, but getting two free throw opportunities. Just the first foul for Levante Henton. As Josh makes the free throw. Cole Salajia, the young 22 year old, in for some important minutes. Knocks two free throws down. Coach has got to like that. Over the top, Oscar will finally control it in the front court. We've seen Oscar have a quiet three quarters throughout the beginning of the game, see if in the fourth quarter he can get something going. Anton fouled on the shot. Stepping behind the screen that time. Josh called for the foul. We've talked about the art of closeouts. Now with guys just wanting to shoot three-pointers, you have to be able to close out, give him room to land. We'll see right here on the replay how much room he gave him. Not enough, according to that referee standing right in front of the play. That referee was right on top of it for the call. He'll clean up the floor and get ready for play to resume. And that's just an experience thing. Coach Roger obviously showing a lot of faith in number eight, Togoyu. Letting him have some very important minutes here in the fourth quarter of a very tight game. Henton. This is a free throw. He's five for nine from the line. Almost a double-double coming up if he collects two more rebounds. Going forward, we're going to have to see how long that the Braves keep their point guards on the bench. We saw earlier in the first half, Lai Ting Un have a great spark, leading the Braves to, to come back from that early deficit with Joe Lin with a great third quarter to help them get a lead. Right now with the game tied, we'll see how long the coaching staff keeps their point guards on the bench. Free throws were a big problem for the Lions in the preseason, and so far tonight, hovering around 50%, that's not good enough. Jen to the hoop. Garcia deep positioning. Still fighting. And put it in. Two point lead for the Braves. Once again, Charles Garcia being able to anticipate his teammates miss. Pump fake getting two locals in the air and strong finish. He still got seven and a half minutes in this game. Henton down low. Lots of attention. Find Oscar for the mid-range. And he'll knock it down. The Liners doing a much better job we saw earlier. Julian Wright on the post up, teammates not moving. That time Oscar finding open space, being able to hit that mid-range jumper. Toko here through the middle with a push shot. Garcia collects the rebound. He's working on high spins. And will get to the hoop. Young Lion here is unable to stop. Chuck. You can see as soon as Wesley Wu coming out of the game, Charles Garcia going to work on the offensive boards. Curious to see what they do with the substitutions and player rotations. Evan will force that shot and won't get to the hoop. So they'll reset. Tombo Shin to the hoop. And lock from behind. Oscar collecting that one. Great recovery there. After getting beat on the initial drive, not giving up on the play, getting a piece of the ball. That's it. Getting blocked by his own teammate. Now Oscar will try from the left corner, off iron. Tay slowing down quite a bit. Garcia spinning amongst line ears. Will get fouled. That won't make, but he'll be more free throws. We saw it in the first half with the line ears setting a ball screen for Julian Wright. This time the. Fubon Braves taking a page out of their book with number two, Jen Weiru, setting a screen for Charles Garcia. As we see the great block, not quitting on the play by number 12, Evan. But Charles Garcia again with the pump fake, getting the defender in the air, finding the body, getting to the line. That makes it 79 points for the Braves on the evening. Garcia, 23 points, 14 rebounds, and his plus league debut. Been a big threat. Missing that second one. Under six minutes to play in this game. We'll see how the Lioneers counter. Three pointer by Evan. Shooting with confidence. Coaching staff telling Chuck Garcia, 
how they want him to defend that. Don Lucien, unable to cut through for an opportunity. Will shoot the three this time, and counter. And we saw it on one end with Oscar finding room off of Latante Henson's post up. This time, Jet doing a good job finding space behind the three point line on Chuck Garcia's nice pass out. Both teams playing very hard and very competitive. Calvin working on Sokwe. At the hoop. Not called for anything. The Braves will come down with it. Lewis. A little bit too deep. He'll reset. Garcia now getting doubled underneath to Lewis. Everybody's open on the outside. So play you. Can't hit. Great job cutting there on the weak side. Just not being able to hit that open shot. Van Han underneath. Getting his feet tied up. Oscar Gall not going the same direction. As the pass. Yeah, we see Oscar going with the backdoor cut. Panguan Han thinking that he's going to pop out for three, creating the turnover. Both coaching staffs switching out their imports. As a reminder, only one import player for either team is allowed on the floor. Yesterday, we got to saw the debut of Quincy Davis here in Shinzo. He will play with a domestic player status. Be something to look out for for the rest of the season. Now from the right side, unable to hit the three, but Joseph Lin is there with the rebound. Yeah, back in the game after rest to start the fourth. Nice pass, creating an open shot for his teammate. Now in the bonus are both teams. Lewis fouled on the dribble. I mentioned earlier, Coach Roger, curious as to see how long he leaves those point guards on the bench. Bringing Joe Lynn back in with about five minutes left in the game, trying to extend this three-point lead for the Braves. That head's going to work, and helping the Lion ears out one more time. Jianwei Lu, Lewis, six points, but 0 for 2 from the line. Let's see if he can make it 1 for 3. He does. 83-79 the score. So far in the second half, the Braves holding off the Lioneers with a better free throw percentage as well, right? Try to get his team organized. Oscar to the other side, Evan. Not a lot of space, he'll pull up. And that shot is no good. Yeah, a little bit of confusion there from the Lioneers. Still not really understanding how to play with their new teammate, Julian Wright. Joseph, just a little bit off. Lioneers catch a break. Now Wright, with the fancy moves. And the foul called on the shot. There's Shao Sui bulldozing again. Kind of well known for his Euro step in the preseason, but trying to go with power now to borrow some, borrow some American football concepts. <laughs> Almost a jump ball there, Joseph Lin. Yeah, you Almost said in the right spot. Former teammates, Joe certainly aware of Xiao Sui's tendency to use this move, getting his hands on the ball. Unfortunately, as far as the refs are concerned, got a little bit of the body too, as we see the first one not being able to go in. Four personal fouls for Joseph Lin. He's got one to play with, shall we say. And two missed free throws. Lion here still struggling from the line. Joseph hanging on to that one. Now driving and retreating. Got a mismatch down low. Zaisev around the opposite side of the help and called for the foul is Xiao Sun Yi. Doing his best, but unable to corral the big man. You know, we've seen earlier in the game when Chuck posting up, not being able to get the ball. This time, good pass into the post on the mismatch. Not being able to get to that double team. Giving Big Z a shot for two free throws. Call for the jersey grab with the right hand. Nice F. No problem with the free throw. 
Brendan Smart with his face mask and jacket on. Not active for tonight's game. Two for two. Six point lead for the Braves. Lioneers have to counter. 18 points, 12 rebounds for Ehor Zaisev. Swing it to Lee Jarre. Three. Rattling home. They needed that one. Under three minutes to go in the game. Still a good one here. Lewis with a mid range. Counters. And something that he's obviously worked on in the summer before, not used as a pick and roll player. Done a great job in the second half, creating opportunities both for himself and for his teammates. Oscar will pull up from three, a little too strong. Braves settling down, trying to put this one away. We're heading into the last two minutes. Zaisev have not seen success against Wright, and that one poked away. Don't know if he just dribbled off himself. It was Wright. Evan all the way through. Now to Wright from the right wing. Missing a by a lot. Calvin underneath, and they put it back. Bring the line here to within three points. Under, under two minutes, the players can call a 30 second time now. Itare with a smart rebound, bumping his opponent out of the way. Now, Joseph with the turnover interception. And sloppy play on both sides. Tokoyu being able to take advantage of it with the off foot layup in transition. Graves now with a five point lead. Oscar to right, he'll shoot again. This time it goes down. And that's the first time that Julian Wright has looked at that shot in a while. The previous possessions he's popped back, looked to immediately swing it to the weak side. This time taking a look at the basket, making the big three-pointer. Bring it to within two points. Joseph Lin anticipating the pass. Now Tsukwe finishing off the play for the Braves. Yeah, you see his the coaching staff for the Braves concerned that Big Z is not going to be able to get out to Julian Wright on the perimeter. Immediately putting Chuck Garcia in there. Hopefully the defensive matchup has a little effect. Two for three from, or two for seven from three is Julian Wright. Lion here need to stop. Joseph starting through the middle now underneath. With a nice pass, Mahoney with a finish that time, number 13. We'll finally come around to it. Li Mongxue. Another great backdoor cut on Joseph Lin's drive with the defense turning their head, cutting right behind them, missing the initial layup, but able to put back the second opportunity. The 28-year-old Ray Li will get his team a little bit more breathing room. And that's what we've seen Joe doing a great job here in the fourth quarter, in the second half, really. Not just hitting those big threes for himself, but had a nice pass to Big Z on the pick and roll. This time being able to get into the middle as the defense sucks in, finding his teammates for the open looks that hopefully they'll be able to take advantage going forward. One minute and 17 seconds left on the clock. As a coach, are you drawing up maybe a few plays in a row right here, or are you just trying to get one for one offensive score and one stop. I figure out from there. I think right here you're just trying to look for your best players to make a play. We've seen that the Lioneers have really had trouble being able to initiate their offense. With here, they'll probably be taken out of bounds in the front court. It'll be really interesting to see who Coach Lynn trusts in this situation. On the other side, Roger with his custom Taipei Fu on Braves whiteboard. Trying to pull out the victory, go 2-0. and oh. Braves a little bit of a benefactor with a schedule, while having only to play one game last weekend and only one game this weekend. This time on the second night of a back-to-back -back for the home Lioneers. They're staying with it. And that's something that we're going to have to look forward going into the season. Obviously, we talk about the home court advantage. Nowadays with the Plus League, a team at the home court is going to be playing a back-to-back, -back, so not sure how much of an advantage there is there. We'll have to see what the coaches adjust to with the lineups. In the next few weeks, we'll start getting our uh, four-game weekends where the home team and the road teams 
We'll play one game on Saturday and one game on Sunday where the road team will, will swap. Be Brave showing his own. Calvin underneath now. All the way to the hoop. No, it will be Evan from the right corner. Missing. Garcia with a rebound. That was big. Yeah, Brave's going into his own look. Lioneers doing a good job swinging to the weak side of the floor, getting a good look. Just not able to hit it. Coach Trujinza will do that a lot out of timeouts and in transition with time running out. We'll change up a defensive strategy. Garcia underneath. Four points becomes six points of a lead. That's right. Lioneers needing to go quick here with not a lot of time on the clock. Right? Thinking about it. Everything taking a lot of time. Calvin will dribble that one out of bounds. We can see the Braves did a great job on that possession with Wright hitting the three, immediately rotating, not giving him that opportunity, forcing it back to the same side where there's not a lot of room for Calvin, stepping out of bounds. You see there Chuck Garcia and Calvin, actually former teammates about five years ago on the Bank of Taiwan team in the local SBL league. That's the fourth foul on Calvin. Not a lot of time left. The Lioneers having to go with desperate measures. Garcia from the line. Way short on the first free throw. Right now a two possession game. The Lioneers pretty much need him to miss and counter with two three pointers of their own with a stop in the middle. Knocking down the second one. Come on. The free throw percentages now favoring the Fubon, Taipei Fubon Braves, 57% to just 46% for the Lioneers. Shooting percentage-wise, Braves are also on top. Lioneers hanging on thanks to their turnover ratio and being pretty even with the rebounding department. Yeah, that's right. The Lioneers have actually done a decent job getting some open shots. Their, their percentage is just struggling compared to the nice night that they had yesterday. We'll see if Coach Lin can create a good shot off the side out of bounds. Last possession, the Fubon Braves coming out with a zone look. Not sure he's drawing up one play or two plays. The Golden State Warriors in the NBA were heralded for having Quite a few games with 30 assists, and here in the Plus League, I'm pretty appreciative of the teams with 20 assists. We've seen that a few times, Lioneers in particular in the preseason, sharing the basketball, getting easy shots. Yeah, it's interesting because that a lot of it comes down to whether you make your three-point shots. Nowadays, with so many teams relying heavily on that three-point shots, if you kick it, drive into the middle, kick it out, create a shot for your teammate and make it an easy assist. If not, not a lot there. Both coaches being very thorough with their timeout plans being made. Let's see. Being down seven, Coach Lin going in with LeDante Henton, hoping to get a quick bucket to keep this game alive. Do you anticipate the Braves trying to advance the basketball if the Lioners make, or will try to let the players figure it out from themselves? Look to find out. Up top, the turnaround shot by Elliott Tan, not even close. And with that, the Taipei Fulon Braves are just about there to take this victory. So we see another mixed up defense there with the Braves after going with the zone look on that previous side out of bounds, this time coming back with the man look. Lioners obviously confused. Elliot Tan forced into taking a tough shot that came up just a little bit short. Check Stick it. around for the post game coverage where we'll have a player interview. Garcia at the line. They will knock that one in. Doing a great job in his plus league debut, sitting the first weekend, but rewarding Coach Roger and management of the Braves. Would what is just about to be victory number two. Pioneers, perhaps trying to get one good possession. Evan will drive. Flip it out. Ninglita wasn't ready to shoot. 
Three, two, one. Henton shot off iron. That'll be the ball game, and congratulations to the Taipei Fulham Braves going 2-0. Last week, Coach Jafen said the real winners are all basketball lovers here in Taiwan. Week two is in the books, and what a success it was. Two nights of the stadium being pretty full, fans treated to some good basketball. Competitive play by both teams. Lineers with a good showing on the floor. On the screen, Kenny Gall, Coach Roger Chu. And that second half really belonged to the Braves. They took both quarters and, and then the end took the game, even down big to the Lineers by 15, 16 points. Yeah, we've seen the, showing off their maturity. Seen the Braves come back from a, a few point deficits in both games right now. They're a team that has a lot of firepower, maybe don't stay the most focused for the whole game, knowing that they have the ability to come back from double digit deficits. This time they came back in the first half and were able to maintain that lead going into the second half. We've been informed that Charles Garcia will be our player to be interviewed over on the Mandarin side with our colleagues, David Chin and Jeff Fan. Jeff Fan. The Lineers did have a good showing on the court, played hard even on the second day with the other team being fresh. And that's going to so be a, a lot of things to praise them about and hopefully they and all the other three teams have a good season. Yeah, it's going to be a challenge for them this whole season, being a young team. They're going to have to learn how to play in these back-to-backs. They're going to have to learn to play coming after a little bit of a hardship. Let's see what Chuck has to say about this game. Thanks to Garcia participating in our post-game coverage. We'll be back after a break.
。好，刚那个我们球队虽然落后，那个时间剩下不多，还拿大头牌子在那边摇的。我觉得我一定要给你们一点鼓励，真的谢谢你们，这种不离不弃的感觉太好了。好的嘛，哎哎，等一下，多三条，快点快点，毛青再给我三条，算董事长的，这是我们董事长，你知道吗？这董事长，我们会从董事长那边拿钱的。啊，等一下啊，还有还有一个一二，还有两片嘛。三片，好，还有那三片。然后拿大板子来，谢谢，快点，不好意思，还缺一个